Hello gamers and welcome to Sea of Stars! In the last episode we explored the town of Brisk which was huge. We disrupted the local fish trade by basically taking down their entire fishing stock on account of one little kid. We hooked up with a local band of pirates and in exchange for helping them get a coin of undead summoning so that they can get a new pirate ship, they agreed to take us to Wraith Island. Right now we are about to jump into the wizard tower where that coin of undead summoning happens to be. If you'd like to join the lovely humans in chat head to twitch.tv slash beard on fire or you can click the link in the description below. If you like the video please like it. If you don't give it a thumbs down, subscribe if you haven't already, and we'll see you in the episode. All right so we can set up camp. We should do it just to hear what everybody has to say. Here's hoping Captain Cliche will hold up her end of the bargain. I thought you only hung out outside. Hey, want to hear a story? Nope, I lied. I didn't. I didn't actually. Based on old scriptures, you should be able to mix the light from different crystals to open new paths. Quite fascinating. The coin of undeath accord can be found in the wizard lab north of Brisk. Now that's a proper quest. Okay, so that's what we're after. I can't believe we have a meeting with pirates. This is unreal. Yep, we got that part. Okay, okay. Zale, anything else? Anything else? I'm not too sure about dealing with pirates either, but we need to... But we do need a boat ride. Indeed. Rest up. Sounds good. Mm. Okay, can we use our thing? Oh, it probably goes here? Or here? There it is. Yeah. All right, so we got a green crystal. Looks like we'll find two more crystals. Portal? Okay. Oh, it got me. I got got. Get moon ringed, arcane sentry. Resisted. Well, <laughs> that was dumb. <laughs> Maybe Sunball will do a little better. Oh, they're not close enough. They're not close enough to each other. Uh, okay, homie, you gotta, you gotta do some hurling. Vulnerable to a hurl. These guys hit hard. Okay, my guess is physical damage is the way to go for them. Yep. We'll just take our win. Carl's gonna smoke this dude. I wonder what their spells are like. Oof, oof. Let's, uh, let's go ahead and use mushroom soup. Heal everybody up. DDR in this bitch, hell yeah. Uh, skills, no. We're just gonna attack straight up. Three hundred twenty four XP. Hell yeah. Okay, so we got like a little pedestal that changes everything. What happens when I step off? Oh, nothing. All right. Hopefully there's another pedestal that I can mess with here. Cuz. Yeah. 
That just moved things back to where they were. Nice. Did they, though? No, they didn't. Okay, so we have blue spaces and purple spaces. There's a blue square that we could jump on and a purple square that we could jump on. Mm, puzzling. This is very puzzling indeed. Wait, did anything change back in this room? Do we have purple or blue squares in the ground here? We don't. Okay. So the results of our experiment are hyper local. Got it. Okay. So that means the purple one's moved up. All right. So basically we've got two positions for each type, purple and blue. All right. We got the blue crystal. Anything else? I haven't noticed any other chests or anything. Wait, is that? Nope. Alright, taking it back. We're going back! So we must have a way to, like, light up those... What did I do? What did I do to deserve this? Uh, hello? My fist farts aren't even doing anything. That just seems like it was a bad idea. We got wanderers, more wanderers, you know? When did wanderers all become such jerks? That's what I want to know. Let's deflect. Get it, get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. Get it, get it, get it, get it. Get got, wanderers. Maybe stop being such an a-hole when you're wandering. How about that? Oops, oops, poop. Hey, hey! See that? So physical attacks, way to go for these guys. Look at those hits. Get blocked. Wipe our hands clean, chat. Just mm -mm, a little dusty. Covered with ass dust. Because of all the ass we just kicked. Get it? Ass dust. Same as a fart cloud? I don't know. I don't know. Let's not think about this too, too, uh, too deeply. It does sound nasty. I don't regret it at all. At all. Hey, look, another wanderer. Better put a hand washing station over there. You know why. Moon ranked. Moonerang! 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 
Moonerang, 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 Moonerang. Oh, that was fucked. <laughs> not, not my best. Not my best. Ooh, those guys are almost done, though. Yep, worth it. Ooh. Fuck off, little gem spider things. That's what I'm saying. That was, that's all we got from the blue. Okay. Okay. Oh, look at this tree. Pretty cool. Okay, I think of that connected to the very first hole we jumped through. So we gotta get down there. Yep, this is it. Ooh, a new activation. Green and blue makes... Come on, chat. Green and blue makes... Hmm? Anybody? Color masters? Turquoise. Turquoise was the answer. How dare you? How dare you? Abandon us? This mountain? What if I fall off the waterfall? Game over. I went swimming when I should have gone hopscotch and rainbow conch. Just kidding. Is meant to be. Don't want turquoise portal. Uh, anything to grab back here? No. Rainbow Conch Champion! We haven't found anybody who's interested in these things yet, but when we do, they're going to be like, damn. That's, that's the exact reaction we're going to get. What a stupid button. I'll slap you again, little little stupid arcane sentry. We got a crab, a wanderer, and a crystal tulip. Okay, little we'll moonerang. Crystal tulip looks like they want they want a little little moonerang taste. That was horrible. Real bad. There we go. Bye, Crystal Sentry. Detonate. Okay, up and down. Wow. Let's <laughs> let's see. Ally recovers from KO state and restores 50% Mac H Mac. Yep, let's do it. This mofo has a thing for rainbow conscious and so do I. Yep. It's gonna be like a meat cute. 
Blocked. Cat, don't let me forget to heal in between. So we power up through battle, you say? All right. It's cool. I got it. I got it. Thank you. Thank you. You're a bro. Wanderer dares turn his back to me. Mistake. The deflections get really hard when you're, like, attacking people on two sides of you. Because it's, like, different timing for each one of the enemies that you hit. But this one's, like, pretty much the same. Didn't help. I feel like I got that one. Come on, 43. Nope. Ooh, ate that one to the chin. A little nourishment. Get wrecked. You don't even get a spell and you're dead. This is what happens. Didn't even try for the bonus. Didn't even try. Uh, some more wheat, please. Bart fist. Bart fist. Nope. Okay. Fine. Technically should have attacked the other guy. All right. Not even looking. Double up. Bump, double up. Bump, bump. Ooh, red crystal! I know Jazzo pants be lurking. Jazzo pants. What's blue and red make? Don't, don't, don't give her ideas. She doesn't need ideas. No, favorite color is purple. Like, there's, there's no competition. There's basically no other colors that exist. Her love for purple is so strong that I find myself, even when I'm just doing thumbnails, like the outline of myself, like most of the time it's purple. And I don't even mean for it to happen. Like, I just kind of, like, black out for a second, and it's fucking purple. Like, it just it just happens. I don't understand. Purple's top three. Like, you think that's giving some props to purple, but in Jazzo Pants' mind, that was sacrilegious talk. Okay. Right. You know what I'm sensing right now. I'm sensing a wizard is not going to have any food left after this because all his fishies, they're going to be gone. 
They're going to be gone because I am the fishing king. Ignore that. That lunar trout jumping around like I had a chance. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Golden watch. Oddly fish shaped for a golden watch. Purple and teal are my favorites, especially together. All right. Come on. Come on. You know what happens? I bet we go back to Brisk and that kid's going to be like, um, my dad's at it again. This time he says I need 75 fish and it turns out his dad is some kind of evil, like, anti-fish. He's a pelican. Hey! Hey, right here in the well! I lost my watch in the lake and a fish swallowed it. Would you mind catching it for me? It ought to be glowing. Did you find my watch? I kind of like the watch. That hit the spot. Thank you very much, my friend. Here's a little something for your trouble. What do you mean that hit the spot? Did we just feed that to another fish? What a waste of good watch. get all the things yeah I think we did okay, we should do uh, red and green before we try to do all three let's do yellow okay lurk time all right We'll catch you later. Enjoy your lurks. Yellow. Arcane Sentry. Let's hurl this guy. Ooh, missed that. Got that one. Ooh, baby. Locked. Headphones are about to run out of batteries. This is me wanting to knock all of them out with, uh... Oh, it's not even her turn. All right, we'll do a healing light. We'll do a healing light, and then we'll have a... Uh, we'll have our other homie do a nourish. Eat an apple! Fuck. Yep, get Crescent Arced. Oh, I thought I was going to get all of them at the same time. Oh, well, good enough. Okay, left. Okay. I see the pattern. Okay, we need to knock out this freaking nerd right here. All right. Resisted for zero. <laughs> Dude.
Oh, so as long as we break the lock, it's dead, but otherwise it takes no damage. That was interesting. We need to level up. Oh, I haven't tried that new combo move that we have with Garl and Valir. Thunder, huh? Ooh, knocked out. This gets funny. There it is. Okay. Well, how do we get over there in the first place? Oh, this must show the beginning. All the way up. Who goodies? These totally remind me of a box from some other video game. What what game am I thinking about? Chat, help me. Help me. What do those remind you of? Portal? No. I haven't played Portal. Why would that remind me of something from Portal? What is this? Is this a trick? Why are you surrounded by runes? I lost my audio. Come back. I can't hear nothing. Can't hear nothing. Mage Knight armor. That's gonna be for Garl for sure. Or not. Ceremonial robe with magic properties. Hell of a lot of magic defense. Let's give that to Zale. All of that was for Mage Knight armor? Okay. Okay, chat. So we've done. We've done green and blue. We've done green and red. We've done blue and red. We've done blue and green. Okay, so we've done all of them. RGB. F F F F F F F F F F F F F F F F F F F F F F F F Oh, he's pretty brave taking a step forward. Hello! Anybody out there? Be careful, girl. We don't know what to expect here. Yeah, right? I found something! It's a pile of crystal and flesh and cloth. Oh, it's a person. Maybe the coin is in there? Wait. Feels powerful. Get ready! Ooh, it's a magic jellyfish. I should have healed up. <laughs> Alright, let's, uh, 
see what we got. We got roast sandwich. Yeah, I think that's a good call just to start out. What do we got? What do we got for targets? Just the chromatic apparition. Vulnerable to sun magic. Okay, so there's a big power up and then the attack lands. Okay, resistant against standard attacks. Too bad. Ooh. Okay, probably has different resistances now. Oh, just physical. Okay. Ooh, all right. Get. I did not catch the bonus there. Hmm. Oh, Bash Drop takes two. Okay, let's save it up. All right, well, we're going to get our ass kicked with this spell. That's okay. How many turns? How many turns till it's ready? One. Cool. Get cracked. Physical attack is just, like, totally whooping this guy's ass. All right, we got two combo. We're ready for a, for a drop. 66. I even blocked a couple. Okay. Do I have any more? Uh, wake that guy up? Nope. I sure don't. Okay, let's cross an arc and see if we do a little bonus damage. No. Sixty-seven. Oh wow! I've got to block at least two of those. That was insane. Okay. Well, we. Oh, okay. We're in moon rank stats. Let's go. I don't want to use the bash drop because it's probably going to be physical attacks. So let's. Can we nourish Zale? No. Let's nourish you, because you can actually take two hits. Yeah, girl. Yeah, girl. I think it's worth doing a berry jam. Let's do a little healing light. Resistant. That was just straight up physical damage. All right. Back incoming. Hell no. Okay. Dude, good thing. I powered up. Because we've got to hit this. No! <laughs> Bro! Hmm. 
Mending Light. So we can do Mending Light to heal everybody. I forget about that. Good enough. Shit. A waste. Let's eat the roast sandwich. That'll just be. That'll be good. Good enough. Homie, I really want you to turn into your other dude. After the, the fist goes down, it hits. Hard. It hits so hard. Yes, shape shift finally. We got to use the berry jam here. Arcane singularity. What the shit? Okay, this animation is awesome. Didn't like that, though. Didn't like that at all. Okay, got to get at least three. Wait, are you... What are you weak against right now? Bro? Yeah, it's Mending Light. That was awesome. Yeah. That's got to be the coin we need. Got coin of undeath accord. All right, here's our ticket to Wraith Island. Ahoy, you got the coin. A job well done. Let's go back to Brisk. The captain will be waiting. Yeah, we need to cook some food. That right, looks like a bunch of the same. Yep. We'll cook then save. Wait, we don't have enough for mushroom soup? We're low on mushrooms? It takes six mushrooms. Holy balls. Okay. Well. Herbed filet. Already got two of those. All right, all right, all right. Couple more roast sandwiches. 
We'll do some Chaudre too. Mm -mm -mm. What a delight. And a couple of salads. Campfire feels cozy and warm. Hmm. What point does the captain backstab us? Like right now or later? I'm thinking later. After we get the pirate ship, then they're they're peace out. They're outies. Ooh, it's dusk. We still don't have a trader coin to talk to the uh, the lady under the docks. All right, y'all. Well, y'all gone and done it. Stunning performance, pals. I am officially naming you members of our crew. No way, so we're real pirates? We fulfilled our end of the deal. Will you take us to Wraith Island now? Aye, and this crew, a mate in need is a quest indeed. All right, well, they're going pretty all in on us being like part of the crew now. Huzzah! Your boat is huge. I can't wait to see the kitchen. Hold your horses, son. That there ain't ours. That should their ship ain't ours. No, no, no. We'll be right this way. The Oakum skiff ain't much to look at, but it'll get y'all across the shallow mire to Wraith Island, all right. Mm. Just gotta stick to that canal. No open sea for us till we get a proper vessel. Uh. They spoke it all. So, unless y'all have some unfinished business, we can set sail for Wraith Island right now. We're ready. All of that. I have no control. <laughs> Take in the sunlight, pals. I hear Wraith Island is real gloomy. Yeah, good old soul based world. Dweller will do that. Dweller, dweller, -all. dweller, -all. dweller, -all. dweller, -all. dweller, -all. dweller -all. Nothing your solstice folk can't fix, of course. Well, at least I hope so. Wouldn't want you to end up moving there permanently. <laughs> what do you mean? Hmm. Don't you know about the one-way trip thing? Well, here's another one y'all have never heard before. No one that's been to Wraith Island has ever returned. Uh, why not? Ain't nothing. Stories say that the Dweller of Woe has mind control powers. After setting foot on Wraith Island, people are cursed to remain there for the rest of their lives. And life on Wraith Island is... Uh, live day by day, for no one knows who the Dweller will prey on next. Prey? These things feed, ain't you heard? Aye! Every so often the Dweller sings with her cursed voice, compelling one of the denizens of Wraith Island to sleepwalk into her lair, never to return. Mm. Okay, that's... But why would people even go there, then? Beats me. Curiosity. Boredom. I need to escape. 
you'll get to ask soon enough. Did you guys know about all this? Don't worry, Garl. It's what we've been trained for. And the headmaster is in charge of the mission. He's dealt with many dwellers before. Arlena and Bregavis will be there too, and they're much stronger than us. I'm sure you can handle it, it's just kind of giving me the creeps. The eclipse makes the dweller weak to our magic. Everything will be fine. And don't forget, it's the last dweller. Pretty surreal to think we'll be the ones to see the end of it all after centuries of struggle. That means you'll be free from duty. We can travel the world. Ahoy, Captain. Seems the sun be setting. Don't blink now, or you'll miss it. <gasps> Behold, the legendary ghost ship that appears at dusk. The Vespertine. All right, dude, if we can get a ghost ship to sail around in, that's going to be pretty fucking badass. Dude. All right. Okay. Instant opportunity for an upgrade. Like, let's go. All right, so we got the captain, and then that was the uh, the first mate over there, who had a pretty cool name, if I recall. We're going the wrong way, dudes. Wait, the price. The Vespertine will be ours one day, or my name is not Kenathan. All in due time, mateys. But for now, we're about to hit the docks. Look alive and brace yourselves. Dude, I haven't done this dude's voice in so long, I don't even remember what it was. By overcoming the dead wizard's illusions, our heroes have secured passage to Wraith Island in time for the eclipse. In this place where the night is everlasting and the dead still live, they brace themselves to fight the last known dweller. While evil forces prepare to play their hand, fear is set to strike very close to home. Indeed. Wraith Island Docks. Can't be all bad. That's like a turnip growing right there. Dude, this has like... This has like Final Fantasy VI moments before the world gets destroyed vibes. You know what I'm saying? place is gloomy. All part of the curse around here. Headmaster Maureen calls it the Night Shroud. It's an old Fleshmancer curse that prevents any sunlight from reaching the island. So even after you defeat the Dweller... Yeah, there ain't no fixing that one. But hey, it's a living. Speaking of which, the town of Lucent should be just ahead. We'll be kicking it back at the local tavern. Can't leave till you take care of business anyway. Yolanda, why come here with us if you knew how dangerous it was? We be trusting the captain, and seems the captain be trusting y'all. If our adventure is to end here, I say so be it. We will have to rem we will have remained loyal to the end and seen that much more of the world. Right on, Kenathan. Hey, you should come with us at the end. We'll be playing some music. You play music? Aye, Captain wants us to practice cheering up the places we visit. Hmm. Well, onwards then. Okay, here we go, chat. 
Entree's invitation sounds fun. How about we go to the inn and take it easy for a little take it easy for a little while? It's not like there's anything more you can do until the others get here. I suppose we did arrive early. Oh, don't feel bad. You've accomplished so much already. Plus the cleansing thing. Fighting a dweller must be a pretty big deal. Might as well be fully rested, don't you think? I guess we could take a short break. All right, let's make for Lucent. Watch, they're already here trying to fight and we're just like chilling. Onions. Ooh. Okay, so we're going to have a lot of little little hidden potholes to find. Yeah, let's go to Lucent, all right. More like Explorcent. <laughs> Whoa! All right, all right, all right. Oh, you're cute. Hey. Smack that cute butt. Get hurled, you nerd. Mm. Hey, at least we got it down to 75% power. That's something. What? Wow, that's a really delayed attack. I love that chomp skill. That was sick. All right, Sunball's probably going to damage the hell out of these guys, right? Oh, yeah. All right. Okay. Okay. Do a little Moonerang. Their sound effects were kind of making me laugh, not gonna lie. Meow. Every time we got hit, meow. meow. Any secrets down here? Huh? Nope. That's a big nope. That's a big nope from us. Shroomies, yes. What? Meow. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, I'd rather fully break this guy. Then you know, do like 75%, 75%. What does this do? Group heal. Hmm. Okay. We'll get hurled. Meow. Also, they're all just doing group heal. All right, we got to focus. Focus a couple of them down. Hmm. No combo? No combo. They're weak versus magic, strong versus physical. Yeah, I mean, we may as well just get some attacks in, get our MP up. So that next round we can uh, take at least one down. Damn. I just want this this battle to go on forever. Forever. All right, we will do a little hurl. Still not enough, huh? Uh, 
Oh, damn. I was hoping I could have, like, a boost. Can we be boosted and do a combo? We can. That's awesome. All right. Okay, let's heal up. We can do that too. We can play that game. Mm-hmm. Longest battle. Almost, but not quite. We're getting close to a level up. Calcite lid. We get some meat from those little guys? That's funny. Conch! Fucking conch for the win. How we doing? We got a good amount of MP. We're pretty good on health. Let's do this. Actually, let's let's use just a little bit of just a little smidge, just a little touch of berry jam. I attack you. Like that. Poison. We have no way to do poison. So. Suck Moonerang nerds. Big hit. Gonna chop chop. Oh, 61, that was insane. That was insane. Apple. Are you going to? Or hurts? Okay, cool. Have fun. Bye. Good luck. We've got to do two blocks in a row. There it is. 444 XP. Dude, we got to find a way to do that battle multiple times. This is a, this is a good grind spot. Down of Lucent. Don't mind if we do. All right. Yeah, let's go back. We're just going to cruise through maybe like a time or two. Because this... Nope. Hey. You stop. Maybe we can take out this little, uh, little antler cutie. I've neglected to look at their names this entire time. Nope. Ah, oh, group heal. 
Oh no, not a group heal. Nice. Can I healing light these guys? No. We got a Lonzon and a Woodland Spirit. All right, Lonzon. Ooh, only 27 damage. You guys hit hard. Damn. Even with the block, that was rough. So Woodland Spirit's going to do a group heal. So we should take on this dude. Because I'm not worried about the group heal at all. And maybe I should have been a little worried about it. Fifty-six. Light. Oh, cool. We haven't done this one yet. Here we go. Dragoon style. 76. 76. God. Well, that was good. All right, let's uh, take some shroomy boomies. Can we attack these dudes again? Huh? I touched your chest. Woodland spirits. No. Fine. Hey. Chomp incoming. Oh. Ooh, I am flubbing. Chomp, chomp. Oh, man. I'm glad he has extra defense. That makes a difference. That makes a difference. Okay, let's uh, do that, and then we'll do a Souls to Strike. I did not do the Souls to Strike. That's okay. There it is. Level up. Mm. Okay. I've gone pretty hard into physical attack. And I think we'll continue that trend. The layers are like glass cannon. Plus six, plus eight. You get another plus two physical. Another mana point. Okay, if we can get a... Oh, man, I was really hoping for a mana point here because I want to get him up to 14 uh, MP so that he can do two heals, two nourishes.
All right, his physical attack is pretty damn good, though. So let's bump up physical again. More shanks. Let me back on the ship, huh? Okay. We'll just do a quick rest. I don't know, chat. What do you think? As far as grinding goes, do we go through here one or two more times? It was like, what, three battles? Two battles? We did it. YouTube, welcome back. We ground that out and we got another level. We are now level eight. And for each of these characters, we get to choose a boost. So... We've been going pretty hard in offense for Ol Valir here. And I think we'll just continue that trend. So we're going to do plus one mana point. Because we don't get one this level. And I think with 14, we'll be able to do two of the Moonrang attacks per turn. Let's see. We've been hitting defense pretty hard for this dude. Magic attack has been solid. His sunballs are like no joke. All right. Come on. Magic point, magic point. Yes. And I've really been wanting to get uh, Garl here up to 14 because he can do two heals per turn as well. It's awesome. I wonder what Smoke Bomb does in your rewards on Twitch and modified emote. Smoke Bomb. I moved my camera. So... I need to figure out how to get Smoke Bomb to track my camera, but you can give it a try. It won't work quite right. I guarantee it won't work quite right, but you'll, you'll get the gist. You'll get the gist of it. And modify an emote. Frankly, that's a base Twitch thing that I haven't looked into yet, and I don't know. I don't know what modify an emote will do. Also, on the plus side, since we finally got affiliate, I've been talking to my artist who sent me an email just when I started streaming, so I haven't looked at it. But we should be like really close to finally doing uh, some new emotes, some custom emotes for the channel. I think it'll be a couple of animated, or like, no, opposite of what I said, one animated and two non-animated emotes to kind of start out. And then like the basic Twitch ones that we have so far. All right, so we're in the town of Lucent. Lucent? It's rumored nobody can leave. Sometimes a kid. Sometimes I can hear cheers and applause coming from the river. It's really strange. Villager. That mansion and its cursed voice took everything from me. My son, my husband, and too many of my friends. Why hasn't she called me yet? Sad. Give me a conch. Aw, oh, man. No, 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 no. You're not getting the contents of my chest. If you want it, you're going to have to get my brother and make amends. Okay, don't mind if I do. Nothing of interest here. <laughs> okay, oh, the painting on the wall right there is talking to me. Okay, 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 okay. Your brother, huh? Okay, so we're looking for another painting. I need more whatever the thing they are. Channel points. Channel points, you get them for just being here. In Washington, it's like, you know, usually rainy. <laughs> <laughs> most of the time this time of year but today is beautiful it's like 70 degrees sunny it's gorgeous oh that person's instantly walking toward me it becomes tiring always being on the edge wondering who will be next i can't blame those who choose to spend their time at the tavern an assortment of snacks uh yeah frankly this place is pretty dope everybody has like a semi-creepy decor thing going on. Old dusty novels. Hell yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, hey, Squidmaster. If you want to give uh, Smoke Bomb a try, since I know it's not going to work right, 100%. It'll work. It'll still work. Uh... 
Give it a try. I'll refund your channel points after you do it. Just so you can see it. More to come. More silly things to come like that. Now that I finally have it, like, working consistently, I am realized you're looking at my chest. That's better. That's better. Pooch it up a little bit. Yeah. Okay. 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 Good. I also grew up never knowing when the next call would be, but still, I feel for my kids. Wow, people have, like stayed here and had kids. A painting of Aventry Manor. All of the books in here look extremely old and boring. What a sell. What? He's still mad at me? All I did was eat a snack that I didn't know was his. What does he want me to do? Give him some berry jam? We're portraits now. I can't. <laughs> I can't believe he's still mad over some stupid berry jam. I think uh, I don't have any because I ate it all, but we can make some berry jam. Cool. We'll just have to go to an inn or something. Yeah, we'll have to find the tavern, which I assume is this big ass building. A general store. Look at these guys holding up their britches. Looking for equipment? Oh, bone armor. Okay, so that's a straight upgrade for Valir. Every time, dude. Every time I spend money in games, at the store, I immediately find that item in the natural progression of things. So, maybe we'll do it. Maybe we'll do it. What do you got? Looking for items? Uh, I just want somebody who sells mushrooms, dudes. I can just buy a berry jam. Hell yeah. Done. Do... I don't have this recipe. For real? Are we sure about that? We don't, and I could use it because this is the one that brings people back to life. Okay, I'm not buying that stupid sword. I'm not doing it. I will buy the... Oh, no, we'll probably find a bone armor too. No, I'm not buying anything. I'm not spending my money. Hey, patty cake. Adults are too afraid to come outside like that changes anything. I tried to enter the shed on the other side of the bridge, but it's locked. I wonder what's in there. Me too, kid. Wait, did I go in this house? I did. Okay, so we have the jam. What do you want? Is this from my brother? Oh, thank you. My treasure is yours. Rainbow Conch! God fucking Conch crew. More like the Conch Coalition. An assortment of snacks. Still want some of those snacks. This fountain has seen better days. Everybody has given up in this town. Oh, we got a wheels table. Conch Colt. Conch Colt. That's good. The Cult of Conch. Come. Worship. The Cult of Conch. Welcome, new visitors, to the first stage of grief. Please join us and allow yourselves to cope in whichever way suits you best. I will be your enabler for tonight. Just remember to be respectful and supportive of other patrons and always entertain their stories. I'll let you grab a seat. Would you like to anything to eat or drink to help your reassurances go down easier? Hello! We bring good news, innkeeper. The Solstice Warriors have arrived to take care of the Dweller. Why, of course they have. About my question, though, would you like any food or beverages to supplement the stories you'll be telling yourselves? Uh, but it's true. Undoubtedly, this will surely come to pass, but just as most my most recent day trip to Brisk. Oh, it was lovely. Now for the third time, will you be needing... Anything else? Ah! 
we could use a room for a few days. Naturally, most temporary guests do. Hey, we really are here to cleanse the island. We're just waiting for the others. Abs. <laughs> Absolutely, and I am here by choice. Uh, enjoy your stay at the first stage of grief. May it take your mind away from the inevitable. And speaking of enjoyment, a band of musicians has just arrived. The show is about to begin. Oh, we already know them. We asked them to bring us to your island. My, that is quite obviously factual. I commend your ability to pretend you will fit right in. Hmm. Your room is being prepared. Just let me know when you are ready to sleep. Ouch. These poor people have been coping for so long. Like they can't even deal with reality anymore. Good thing we're here to end this. Well, as soon as we have the eclipse. And back up. I'm sure you're both do great. Whoa, Kenathan's got an accordion. Dude, he's so excited all the time. Actually, young man, this is a con this here is a concertina. Listen here, chums. We be the pirate crew that will someday claim the Vespertine. Oh, that is so happening. Our eyes have been on the prize for a long time now. Every day we refine our plan. And every night we see her in our dreams. I can leave anytime I want. Anytime? Hey, that's my middle name. We live for adventure and for new horizons. Captain's word, one day we'll even sail the sea of... Yolanda! Aye, aye, Captain. Apologies, Captain. They could totally go right now. Clearly the only issue they have they don't, is they don't have a ship yet. When the going gets tough, we like to play a song. It goes something like this. Dude's got a floating octopus flortist. A flortist. It's amazing. Hey, so about Garl. Yeah, he can't fight the dweller with us. But do you think we made a mistake? I mean, it's great to have him. It's just, I, I know I could never forgive myself if we failed to protect him. Dude, Garl better not die. If they kill Garl, I'm going to be pissed. No way! You guys are the best! I will be legitimately pissed off. At least he's having a good time. <laughs> I've been thinking about the cleansing a lot, too. Yeah, I'm sure glad we're not in charge. I thought saving the world would be an all-action and glory, but what these people have endured is... All too real. Well, all the more reason to give it all we've got, right? Mm. Right. So, what now? We take a break, I suppose? Now that is scary. <laughs> Let's just try to enjoy the place. All right. So, we about to play some wheels. We're going to go champion game. All right, so this game is wild. All right, so each side has two spots for heroes, which you can kind of choose. We've got the middle part that has a little crown on it, right? Nope. There. In the middle. Crown. See it? Ten. That's our health. All right. And then we have this like roulette wheel. So we've got a whole thing going on right there with the roulette uh, for every turn that we take. We'll get into that in a minute. Right now, I'm just choosing which heroes I want to put in which place. So the square spaces, as far as I can tell, there are more square slots in the roulette wheel. That will make sense in a little bit, which means that they, they won't go as often because the pillar 
<laughs> next to them is a little bit higher. We'll fucking go. I'll just explain as we go. All right, I'm going to choose to put my... Hmm. We just got the archer. Maybe we'll uh, we'll mess around with the archer here. So they've got a mage and a rogue. I don't know what the rogue does. I know what the mage does because I have one too. And he's pretty badass. Uh, I really like the knight. And I guess we'll, uh, we'll throw an archer in there. I'm not exactly sure how the mechanics of the archer work. All right, it's our turn. So I hit R2 and I can spin the dials. So what we're basically doing is just playing the slot machine in the middle. I said roulette earlier. It's not fucking roulette. It's slots. It's slots. Listen to what I mean, not what I say. Chat. Don't take it all so directly, so personally. All right, so we hit it. All right, any hammers we see, if we get three plus, then what we'll do is we will raise a, uh, a barrier that will block some incoming attacks. Unless they're special attacks, and their team has some special attacks. Squares are going to make my square plunger go down. Diamonds will make my diamond plunger go down. You can see the diamond plunger right there. Squares got it on the other side too. All right. Uh, kind of what I like to do at the beginning is focus on getting some, uh, some plunger down before they have a barrier up. It's pretty nice. Okay. These ones with the little uh, kind of glimmery background, those give our characters XP. They're bronze right now. Each character is bronze and they can go up, level up to, to gold. And then we get some uh, extra bonuses for doing that. You can see we got a ton of squares on the board. So I'm going to lock these two in. I'm going to roll the dice and we have one more spin. Hopefully we get uh, something good. We didn't. All right, so all we did is we took our plunger down a couple levels. They did the same. Next turn. All right, we'll lock in that diamond because we can use the XP. Uh, we'll lock this in too because we can at least get one level of barrier up. Boom. Okay, so this is solid. We'll get one XP. We'll get one uh, plunger level for our diamond. And then we'll get two barriers because the the minimum for like earning a barrier is three hammers once you get four then you get two barriers so there we go we're locked in we'll spin there's that xp there's the barrier they got one too and then we got one plunger level all right i don't know what their rogue does i'm curious though All right, a little more defense, a little more attack saved up here. We get an attack. They've got a barrier, so they block it. That's fine. Now, one thing about their mage that they have right there is the mage, they actually get two attacks, and the second one goes over the wall. My archer, I'm not sure what the archer does. Yeah, gambling, dude. It's, it's a sick game, though. Honestly, it's like a really enjoyable game. Um... Let's keep the XP. We're going to gamble. Shit. Well, something. All right, so they get an attack. Uh, okay, so their rogue gets to attack directly through my barrier. Oh, maybe that's what that little... Uh, symbol they've got under there dude with a little like square with a crack in it I don't fucking know but that's what I'm thinking alright 2 XP that's pretty solid 3 XP I'll lock this one I'm hoping we get a double diamond right there because then we'll get an attack close okay they leveled up Okay, we can level up to silver. Yes. Nice, so we hit silver. We get an attack with our diamond character. Oh, 
Oh, apparently we didn't have enough for an attack. My bad. My bad. Hell yes. Boom. All right, so we just took them down to six. That's huge. Dude, we'd love to see some extra XP for our square character. Would love to see some extra XP for our square character. Come on. All right, that's something. Yeah, they're super close to attacking us with the rogue again. Okay, what I want to see is I want to see more squares. Dude. Okay, I've noted that extra XP doesn't carry over. Yeah, yeah, it takes a little bit. Like, it took me a couple rounds to figure it out, but... It's actually a pretty fun game once you got it down. All right, so now that my my uh, archer there is gold, any additional level ups that I do actually create a bomb that go immediately past defenses and do immediate damage to their their health. So it behoove me to get more XP. All right, let's just roll it. Yes. All right, give me one more diamond. That's cool. We gotta level up. That's something. You can see the knights start doing five damage, which is huge. But if they even have one barrier up, like he gets fully blocked. As far as I can tell, dude, these hammers are like basically worthless. So we're just gonna re re-roll that. They just negate his turn? They did. The rogue just negated his turn. Okay, that's kind of messed up. Okay, we'll level up. All right, we should be able to bypass their wall and do some damage here. It says six. Let's see if it works. Come on, come on. Got it. It's right. Somebody. It's right. And we get a little prize. So rogue blocks others' turns if they attack in the same turn, but uh, but only puts the plunger one up. Yeah. Yep. That's what I saw too. Oh, we got a bronze wheel. Okay, so we have a different wheel that we can use now. That's sick. We play champion again, but you've already beaten me, so there won't be any big reward this time. No big deal. No, no, no. We'll be maybe later. Maybe later. My, this is quite a good show. Better enjoy it before the band leaves for another island. Probably tomorrow. So sad. Everybody's so sad here. Other round, please. Lots of new faces today. It seems everyone wants to come to Lucent, and I can see why. This place is flawless. <laughs> Everybody seems to be, like, super sarcastic. Person sleeping. All right, this is the captain. Mm. Mm. Smoke bomb time. Hit it. Better work.
Who would have thought, right? I just disappear like that? It's crazy. It's crazy. <laughs> so usually my camera's on the other side, so I've got to find a way for it to, uh, like, automatically track where my camera is. Yeah, 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 yeah. So that's where it's at right now. It just takes too much for me to move the smoke bomb whenever I move the camera, so I've got to figure out a way to track it. That's smoke bomb for you. Back to the game. All right, Granny's sleeping. Now that is what I call good music. This is awesome. What's a concertina? Uh, I did not mean to hit yes. Here we go. A few days of rest later. Dot, dot, dot. So you're really going to buy a ghost ship with the magic coin we fetched? That's the plan. Hey, after the cleansing here is done, we'll be free to do whatever we want, right? Maybe we could sail with them for a while. Hmm. That sounds like fun. Why, I reckon a bigger vessel will require more hands indeed. Ha! I sure could go for being a sailor cook. No, a pirate chef. Sure has a nice ring to it. You're more than welcome aboard. Anyway, the captain said that the three of you had... Valtrade. Aye, apologies, Captain. Well, if luck would have it, it might be fun to sail together for a little while. Just maybe. Whoa, whoa. Oh, shit. We heard this might happen. Well, they're, they're not even walking. They're just floating. Uh, my, my, my. Remember 10 seconds ago when absolutely nothing happened? It was so boring. I wish something special occurred for once. Next round's on me. <sighs> I feel like everybody's desperate here. Hmm. That was... The Dweller of Woe. So it's true. This poor villager is just going to sleepwalk into the mansion and... Hmm. Unless, unless. Forget it. You can't save that villager. You all right, Captain? Ain't sounding like yourself. I mean, it'd be a useless endeavor. I, it be. Right. Now, how about you follow the captain's advice here and don't try anything stupid? We're going. But you can't. The barrier is impenetrable. You have to wait for the eclipse. Well, we won't sit here while someone is about to be eaten alive. You don't understand. The mind control spell connects the dweller to its prey. You're not strong enough to stop that villager. Captain! We'll see about that. Let's go, Zale. Solstice warriors, fucking go. Fucking get it on. Mm. Wait for me. Uh, we definitely didn't save it. So we should save the game. Ahoy, Captain. Something need doing. I just need to check on the raft. Why not send Veltrade? Some fresh air will do me good. Of course, Captain. As you wish, Captain. The three of you stay here until I return. And do try to liven up the place. These people be needing it. Aye, aye, Captain! Time to improvise. The Cursed Woods are to the north of Lucent. We should use the eastern exit. Okay, and we should save the game. Hmm. 
Okay. Well, gamers, that's it for today. We leveled up after some serious grinding, got ourselves to level eight. So we're ready to do whatever battle this is, even though I kind of have the feeling that when we get to uh, the Dweller of Woes, since we're not waiting, uh, it's going to be a pretty one-sided battle. I think something, something bad is going to happen. We'll discover some things about the captain. Uh, we'll maybe learn a little bit more about this crew. And then... Hopefully, just hopefully, we have the rest of, uh, you know, Brugavis and Moiraine and uh, Elstrad. I forget about the third, the third person, but hopefully we'll have some backup show up mid-fight and help us get through it. But I'm not sure if that's if that's how it's going to work out, to be totally honest. Uh, what else did we do? We finished the whole wizard, uh, the wizard tower. So that's how we got with the pirates. And this next time... I don't know. We'll, we'll see what happens. But anyway, I appreciate you being here. If you want to join the lovely people here in chat, just uh, hit that uh, that little little button in the description down below. Or you can go to twitch.tv slash beardonfire. If you like the video, hit that subscribe button and hit the thumbs up. If you don't like it, hit the thumbs down. Next time, we'll see you. Peace.